you've made it to Wednesday. Welcome back to Weather Wanderings. I'm Megan Montgomery, and if you haven't been to this channel yet, I like to do outdoorsy product reviews. Um, outdoors are one of my extremely big passions. In fact, before I even got into weather and doing meteorology, I was outside all the time, hiking, swimming, running, climbing, everything. If you are new to my channel and you haven't noticed, I do product reviews every month and I do take requests. They have to be reasonable, they have to not be like a brand, but something that you would be interested in getting, um, just that's outdoorsy. So with that being said, I am actually going to go to the first products. So here's what I need to rave about this month because let me tell you, I didn't realize how important this was. And hear me out because it's not going to sound like this is a good product review until I get done. So what I'm talking about is um, Merino's skin cream. It's a lanolin skin cream. And if you're vegan, I'm sorry, this is actually from a sheep. But if you're not, this is the best skin cream I've ever had. And you might be going, well, you know, why, why would I do this? Why would I talk about skin cream? Well, so I've been running a lot. I've been hiking a lot. I've been working out like crazy. You know, I just like, it's horrible. And my skin gets really dried out, especially in summer, because if you are live in Denver, you know this, you're closer to the sun and you get sunburned and it's just awful. This is like the only thing that does the trick for me. Um, I not only use this for just like lotion on a daily basis, I use this for my feet. Um, I use this on top of um, some kind of skin treatment for sunburn if I have it. I usually do aloe, which, oh, by the way, they have amazing aloe, like probably the best aloe I've ever had. Um, and so I do like the aloe on top of the sunburn and then I put this and it just heals it up. Um, it is not fragrant, so it's great for sensitive skin. Um, don't put this on your face if you have very oily skin because it has lanolin in it and lanolin will clog your pores. But this stuff is amazing. You do not have to re I find I do not have to reapply it. It's one, one shot, like once a day, maybe every other day, and I'm still just as moisturized. Um, I do it like as soon as like I'm done with the shower, I just put it on, and it holds the moisture in all day. Yes, it doesn't smell pretty, but that's a good thing, especially if you're like me and you have sensitive skin. Um, it is also a bit thick, um, which is kind of a turn off to people, and I don't know why. It is very thick, you kind of have to rub it in really good. But once you put it on, like, you will never go back. Like, I've gone out and forth, because my mom used to use this all the time, and she still does, and, like, I've gone to, like, other skincare companies, which I won't mention. Um, they're not bad mouth anybody. Um, but seriously, if you want to try it out, I def you definitely, definitely should. Um, the link to the skincare is actually in the section below. Second thing I want to talk about is something that is sold by the same skincare company but is kind of like its own like thing in itself, kind of, sort of. It doesn't have like the same branding I guess. It's called the Crack Blaster and let me tell you, yes while we're still on the, sub the subject of skincare, sorry I'm almost done. Um, this is pretty true to its name. I have put it on really, really badly crusted feet. I won't tell you who I've put it on. It could be myself, it could be someone else. Um, I, you know, just really, really dry skin. This, oh, 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 let me tell you. It like pretty much gets rid of it like that. You put it on, I put it on like my feet. Um, you put it on your heel, and then you rub it in really good. You put a sock on at night so it kind of gets to sink in, and it just, you will have a really nice smooth heels. And it's great because I, again, <laughs> 
really am very hard on my feet. I run, I do all kinds of outdoorsy things, and my feet are gross and horrible and they're cracked. If it's in the winter, like, you know, you're out snowboarding or you're out just, you know, sh shoveling your walk, with, you know, getting all the snow out of the place. If you have like tons of cracked knuckles, it's great for that too. Um, and it gets, it just, we, we swear by this stuff in our house to be honest. So again, this is Crack Blaster and I have the information for you below. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about, I'm off of skincare, I promise, I, I did my little spiel, um, is electrolyte drinks. Um, if you get dehydrated and you work out a lot and you need something to fuel and you're kind of tired of Gatorade, I actually found something yesterday that yes, I do need to try things out a lot, but I like this just so much that I needed to tell you right away. Um, it's these drinks. They're by Aspire. They are um, electrolyte drinks. They're kind of what they remind me of Propel, if you've ever tried Propel. It's like electrolyte water, but it's flavored and it's really good. We actually just picked these up from Costco yesterday. Um, I'm not sure if they just are a local company or what the deal is. Manufactured in Minnesota, so no, they probably aren't. Um, but you can get these. I think they have them at Costco. They might have some more else. You'll have to look them up. I will also have the description of where to find these later in the description box below. Um, they come in many flavors. We got blueberry and cherry. They call like the blueberry rush and the cherry one fire. Um, pretty creative marketing. Um, <laughs> but we like these. And it's really nice because if you like you drink Gatorade and you drink it and it's so sweet and so sugary and you get that like little I don't know what to call it just a little stickiness just from the Gatorade and well you know it's a lot of calories I think it's 150 calories and you're trying to lose weight that's really hard to do um, these are 35 calories um, they're just kind of like flavory water they have like a little bit of sugar in them but they actually are really good um, see what they have in electrolytes, antioxidants, B vitamins, minerals, awesomeness, awesomeness. I don't know if that's USDA regulated, but awesomeness. Good reason to try it. Sure. <laughs> okay, and finally, dun da da da, can I have a drum roll please? The probably best purchase I've had this entire month and probably the most expensive. These would be the Choco Shoes. I love these things, guys. I love them um, with all of my heart, besides, you know, family members and things. These come right after that. Um, <laughs> these are the most amazing outdoor sandals I've had in a long time. Um, here's the reason why I got them. So I was hesitating because they have a big price tag of more than a hundred bucks. You can kind of find them on reioutlet.com. I'm sure um, Sierra Trading Post has them maybe on sale. Maybe don't quote me, I'm not entirely sure. Check around for the sales, guys. It's really worth it. Um, I was, they're really popular, they're in fashion, and I don't want to go, you know, kind of go with them old. I kind of want to make my own decisions. And finally, I was really convinced that, you know, after all the hiking, all the walking, all the street fairs, all the all kinds of things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis, walking around for school, I needed a sandal that could keep up with me. And by keep up with me, I mean not degrade at the end of the year, um, not get bogged down by if I got them dirty or I got them wet and whatever and these guys have delivered. I have put them through the ringer. Um, they have a really, 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 really nice sole. These are the ZX3 model. They're mine. Um, they have multiple strands running across. They do have a toe loop, but not all models have a toe loop if you were really worried about that. Um, in fact, I will show you my husband's um, they, he liked this one. I think this is, mm, I'm not sure. I think it's like the Z Cloud, ZX Cloud. 
I will tell you which ones in the description box below. Um, they come in all different kinds of shapes and sizes, but the really nice thing that I like about it is not only the soles, they have really great arch support. They're actually, you have to break them in for a week. We were a little freaked out when we purchased these and my husband actually wanted to take back some at one point because he was a little worried about them too. Um, they take a little while to get comfortable and make sure that they fit correctly. One of the things that they kind of talk about um, how to adjust the strap and stuff. So it's basically like, I don't know if it's one long cord or it's several long cords, but basically the way you figure it out is they're not stitched into the sole. There's like this little tunnel down here. You probably can't see it on camera. Um, a little tunnel and you have to kind of like yank on the cords in order to get them to kind of customize to your foot. But once you do, you'll be in, in heaven, like foot heaven. I feel like um, they've, they've pretty much become my everything shoes. They've kept up in the water. In fact, I just got these soaking wet Today, I got dirt on them. I was gardening and all kinds of things. Um, I've walked around in dirt. I've walked around in terrain. I've walked in all kinds of things. And they just really keep up with me and they're so comfortable. I don't know exactly if they have a Vibram soles. Um, I've seen some models do. I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me. But they have a really, really, really comfortable sole. And they're very cushy when you walk on them. And they really, really keep up. So if you're looking for a good pair of shoes, I would definitely, definitely use those. I think they also have some kind of warranty that keeps them going for a long time. My sister-in-law has had them for four years and she's still going on them. She's gone through two slot trots. She's got a muddy. We've you know, oh, I don't know, spilled food on them. We've done a whole bunch of things to them. They've taken a lot of abuse through the years, but they hold up and that's what the most important thing is. So again, Chacos, yes, they're expensive. They're worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this product review. Um, it was so much fun getting all these things and trying them out and blogging about them. It's one of my passions to blog about things and kind of like tell you, hey, oh my gosh, stop this, consider this product. Now as I do a disclaimer, it's also in the comment section below, um, I'm not sponsored. So these are all kind of off the cuff, kind of like me just telling you how it is and what I like. So these are the things I would definitely want you to consider. Um, a little bit about this channel, if you don't know, we do do products every, do do, <laughs> 12. <laughs> we do product reviews every month. I go in the beginning of the month, I buy things, I try them, and then by the end of the month, I tell you how I like them. It's kind of like if you watch any makeup tutorials or anything, like me, I'm a bit addicted. Um, <laughs> You want to know what the good products are and you want to know what they are. So this is what I do. Um, I also will be doing, I think the next video in line is a travel vlog. So I want to take you with me on my trip to Georgia that I did last month and a whole bunch of other things. And I also have a forecast, of course, coming to you on Friday because I'm a meteorologist, student meteorologist, let's be literal. <laughs> and I can't wait to show you the weather. Until then, have a fantastic week. Uh, join us again next week. I will be doing another outdoorsy video. And make sure to give this video a like. Go ahead and subscribe. The link is at the end of this video. And I will see you next time. Bye. It's going to be more seasonable than normal. But you might hear some booming in your neighborhood. Thank you so much for joining Weather Wanderers. I'm Student Media.